This review took longer than I anticipated, but this is definitely not an indicator for bad bag. Hi, my name is Boris Mono, I'm a film editor based in Hamburg, Germany. And today I'm reviewing the Heimplanet Daypack. After reviewing a product, I evaluate all pros and cons to see which points might not have been mentioned in other reviews, but might be interesting to know nonetheless. This is why everything shown in this video is just a fraction of all the numbers that result in the final score. The Heimplanet Daypack is a 22 liter backpack that also can be used as a messenger or even as a briefcase, which makes this bag well suited for casual but also business occasions. Although the black version might be better suited for business, this bag is available in three different colors and this is the pine green. This is a clamshell opening bag with one quick access pouch on the outside and two organizational pockets located inside the opening flap of the bag. The main compartment has this bright inner lining which is actually very helpful to see and find stuff. I actually wish that more bag manufacturers would opt for a bright color for the interiors of their bags. Furthermore, you can see some inner Moly attachment points reminiscent of the Gorok bags. On these Moly attachments, which you can find outside as well, you can attach Heimplanet's own pouches that can add lots of modularity to the bag. These pouches are available in three different sizes. These are great for hard drives, cables, small items, etc. But beware, these are flatter than I'm used to, which is why you can't use them for bigger items like a camera, for instance. Furthermore, there is a separate laptop compartment, which you can access from the side. This is due to the fact that you can use this bag either as a backpack or as a messenger. To transform the bag into one of the different carrying modes, you can attach the big shoulder strap for messenger mode or the shoulder straps for backpack mode with these really well made hooks. The shoulder straps can then be neatly tucked away in these compartments, which by the way is also great when you're flying and you want to store the bag underneath the seat without the straps getting hooked on something. After the shoulder straps are stored away, just carry the bag in messenger mode or with the side handle. By the way, add this to the list of my things I wish that more bag manufacturers would add to their backpacks. While it is a good feature for some to use this bag as a messenger or backpack, this ability comes with a couple of trade-offs. In the messenger mode, you can access your stuff inside the main compartment from the laptop's compartment zipper, which is why the Moly inside is orientated for this mode. As soon as you use it as a backpack, the attached pouches inside are orientated sideways. Not a deal breaker, but something to be aware of. When you use this bag as a backpack, this stowaway for the straps is open to the elements. So if you happen to get into some rain, the inside of the stowaway might get wet. While the great material will still keep your valuables inside the main compartment dry, depending on the amount of rain of course, this part of the bag could still be wet while the outside is already dry. That is why I would recommend to dry the inside of the stowaway with a towel so no moisture will accumulate in there. The Heimplanet is a well-made bag with lots of small details like these strap ends on the shoulder straps and these front straps, which by the way also can be stowed away to clean up the look. Therefore, no dangling straps. All the seams and stitching are noticeable well-made. The choice of materials is a good balance between durability and weight in my humble opinion. I'm not a fan of the messenger mode, however this is not the fault of the bag but rather a personal thing. I just don't like carrying messenger bags or shoulder bags. But there are times when the option to transform the bag into messenger, briefcase or backpack can be quite useful. So if you're searching for a bag that is good looking, modifiable, transformable, then I can highly recommend the Heimplanet Daypack. Check the description below for the detailed scores. And if you have any more questions, please comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss next videos. Thanks.